New Auburn commit Tay Johnson out of Callaway High School, Hoganville, Georgia. Becoming somewhat of an Auburn factory, obviously. Keandre Jones, your Sorry. teammate last year at Callaway, now at Auburn as well. Uh, I know you'd love to probably have uh, Tank Bigsby join you there on the Plains yeah. at some point. Or you told me he's probably, maybe if not your number one target, definitely one of the top ones for mm -hmm. sure. You want to get to join you, Tate. Talk about, I guess, let's just get right to Auburn and back to when you knew exactly your decision, when your mind was made up, when it hit you. I, uh, I had been praying hard and, you know, talking with my family a lot before um, the Big Cat weekend. And going into it, I knew I had great feelings about Auburn. And uh, I had a lot of boys going there. You know, Javion was there, Avery was there, Shale was there. I mean, they were all there. I'd been talking to them previously. And uh, we all just, we, well, we all got there together and we all just clicked. And, um, you know, by towards the end of the visit, I was like, man, this is, uh, this is the place I want to play at. Big time program. The coaching staff is incredible. And, uh, and I really just saw myself there playing there and with those boys and with that coaching staff and, and it just kind of clicked. Let's go right to when you told the staff. Take us back to that moment. Mm -hmm. You know, when that happened, where it was, what you said, yeah. their reaction, yeah, the whole, the whole thing. For sure. I was, uh, you know, after the visit was over, we went back up to Coach Malzahn's office um, and uh, his wife was there. Miss, Miss Christy Malzahn, she's a fantastic woman. Uh, Coach Grimes, uh, Coach Dillingham, they're all there. And I just told them that, you know, this is a place for me and, you know, and, I'll be, and I'm able to say that I'm coming to play here. And, you know, they just all, they were all fired up and ready to go. And, uh, you know, they were just excited as well as my family was excited and I was excited. So the room was just full of excitement. How would you explain the process to get to this point? You know, you had the offer, you took a lot of trips, and I know you've mentioned schools like Georgia Tech, Florida State, very much involved as well. What was it like to get to this point? Was it fun? Was it stressful? Was it confusing? You know, how, how would you yeah. describe it? It's, uh, it's weird because, you know, the recruiting process is interesting. It's, it's fun, it's stressful, it's exciting, it's sad. It's all, it's all this at the same time. And, uh, you know, what I think is that it's fun, first of all, it's a blessing. I mean, there's so many kids in America that want to be in, in my shoes and the other recruits' shoes that don't have the opportunity to be in. So, you know, whenever recruiting gets really stressful, because it is stressful, um, I just think that, you know, this is stressful right now, but it's such a blessing to be where I am. God has blessed me with a talent um, that no one can take away from me. And, and it's just, it was a blessing. You know, I, I went back to that all the time. It's stressful, but a blessing. And you've been to Auburn on that campus how many times, would you say? About six, five yeah. or six. Yeah, you know, people talking about environments, atmospheres in different ways. But what do you feel when you're on that campus on the Plains? At home. I mean, it, it really does feel at home. I mean, it's only 45 minutes on the road. But other than that, I mean, the coaching staff, you know, feels like a family. They feel like, you know, your, your family that really cares about you and wants to see you grow, not only as a player, but a man, um, spiritually and, and physically. And... Um, you know, and also having the teammates that I'm really good friends with, you know, it just feels like a brotherhood. And the, I met, you know, the current players, I have Keandre, obviously. I've met Bo Nix, Luke Deal, you know, Cam Seth, they're all, they're all great guys. And, um, you know, you know, it just feels like a brotherhood and family there. Now, you've made it pretty clear to me and, and people that read, you know, Rivals.com and AuburnSports.com saw you're 100% locked in. You're pretty much done for the most part with the process. All right. You know, going into the season now, as you go back to Auburn and watch them play, what do you look for? Is it are you looking at the offensive line? Do you want to see them win so many games? Yeah, what what do you look for now going into the season as a commit? I just want to see them ball out. I mean, I mean, no, I think uh, I think they got a great class this year. I think Coach Gus and um, you know Coach Grimes are going to do some great things, and Coach Dillingham's going to do some great things with that offense. And uh, I think they're going to get it going. And I just want to see them. I just want to see them. You know, do the best they can and uh, ball out. And you know, if that is you know running the table, winning that championship. As you know, that's just uh, obviously the goal, and that'd be you know the great outcome. But uh, I just want to see them, you know, play good. You know, two part question. You know, obviously you could play probably anywhere across the offensive line. Where does Auburn, I guess, project you to play? And what you know, tell these Auburn fans watching this? I haven't seen you yes. play. What they're getting in you as a player? For sure, they uh, Auburn sees me as an interior guy, guard, or center. You know, obviously I can play all five, but that's where you know they see me at you know the best. And uh, me as a player, man, I'm just, I'm just nasty. I love, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a really nice guy off the field. But you know, when I'm on the field, it's mean. It's a, it's a fight. It's a legal fight down in the trenches. And uh, you know, I'm a road grader. I'm athletic, big, strong. I feel like I can do it all. And, and I feel like, you know, 
I bring a very good skill set to the interior offensive line. And, uh, and, you know, with my boys around me, I feel like we can win a national championship. Anything you want to say to the Auburn fans watching this interview as we go in closing? Uh, expect great times ahead, man. I, I, the goal is national championships. You know, I think we're going to bring some championships back to Auburn, Alabama, and I'm serious about that, and I'm ready to get to work to do that. Hey, good stuff, man. Take, congrats, first of all, man. Thanks for your time. No problem. Thank you.